recently I posted a couple of videos on TikTok and they they kind of popped off. But the most frequently asked question I got in all these videos was, what am I eating? Yo, what's going on guys? I just woke up. I'm about to make some breakfast. It's about 9.54. I'll update you guys on time every time that I do make breakfast. So the first thing we have here that we're gonna make is these pan- My dog's tweaking on me. What are you doing, homie? You're really scratching the floor. The first thing we're having today are these shaken pork pancakes. I thought they'd be gross, but they're pretty good. I also did have them in the last video, so you'll find that a lot of things I'm in this video are similar to the last video. So with my pancakes, the peanut butter and honey on them, I also have a, I think it's like a 16 ounce glass of milk. Uh, I go for whole milk, the red milk, if you like live in Florida, go to Publix. I just go for it because it's way more calories than 2% milk or non-fat milk. And it's got reasonable macros on it. Yo, so a lot of people put like syrup and butter on their pancakes. Let me put peanut butter on your pan, hold on, hold on, it gets better, it gets better. Peanut butter and honey on your pancakes, dude. It's it's game changer. Look, I, I stay stocked up on the peanut butter, bro. The coronavirus hit. I you know what I said. I said, give me my peanut butter, dude. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Jif, if you are looking to sponsor anyone, um, I'm your man. Hit hit me up. I wanna be sponsored by peanut butter. Anyways, I'm about to dig in. I'm gonna let you guys know the calories and the macros on it afterwards. Yo, what's up guys? I just finished my breakfast. I want to touch up on you guys on what vitamins and supplements supplements I am taking right now. I am currently taking a one-a-day men's vitamin. It's a little different than the one I had before. The one was like Walgreens brand and it was kind of shitty. This one is way better. It's got like five times the amount of vitamins the other one did. The second one I have is vitamin C. I still take 500 milligrams of vitamin C daily. The next thing I have is creatine monohydrate. I'm still taking this. It's about two months later since last time I took it. I really don't know if you should cycle on and off of it. Uh, please let me know in the comments if I should. Um, I have five grams a day. I've noticed a difference. I'm like, I feel puffier, I guess. I don't know. The last thing I have is my pre-workout. I like the beta alanine in it. I'm a big fan of beta alanine. I really like like the feeling of it, I guess. I don't know. Those are the supplements I've been taking. If I have any new ones that I start taking, I'll let you guys know. Let's get these down real quick. <laughs> So the last time I recorded was well, maybe two hours ago when I talked about all the vitamins and supplements I take. I'm about to make my second meal. So this meal that I'm having now, you saw it in the last video that I made. And I think it's an amazing like pre-gym meal because it's not super heavy. It's pretty light. Essentially what it is, is it's a parfait. So I have Dan and whole milk yogurt with these kind oat clusters. Me personally, I try to eat about an hour 45 minutes to an hour before the gym. Just make sure that's carb focused and so I have energy throughout the gym. It comes out to about this many calories and the macros are like this. So first I go ahead and I add about eight ounces of the yogurt. It's not too much. And then I add enough of this to where it's an even balance within this. This is it with the granola added. If I mix it up, it comes out not too oatmeal-y, but it's not too yogurty, not too granola-y, but it's like, it's perfect. So before anyone says anything about the different bowl, I dropped the other one and it went everywhere. So, a little disclaimer. We're gonna go ahead and eat this real quick. My second meal is complete. It took maybe like five minutes to eat it. So it's not, it's not a super hard meal to get down, but it's pretty good. That was loud, holy shit. Yo, I just got ready for the gym. I'm about to head out and I will catch y'all up on the way there.
So we're gonna meet my buddy Chandler at the gym today. He's gonna get me into 24 hour. We're working on legs and Chandler's quads are freaking giant. So hopefully this homie will get my legs right. No kata. But I'll see y'all there. Look at this boy right here. Look at his quads, baby. We just got to the gym. That boy Chandler. You're not taking it in? No, I don't know. I just don't like flash it. I hate Actually, it. yeah, probably not. It like went up the back of the exercises I'm gonna do uh, are gonna be supersets. I'm gonna superset lateral raises with calf raises and then I'm gonna superset hamstring curls with rear back flies. I go on foot as my last resort running harder faster than before until my legs and feet are sore life will never be what it was my mind We just got out of the gym. We're gonna go ahead and go to my work actually and get some food. It's pretty good calories and the macros on it are pretty decent. So I'll show you all what I get when I get there. Hey. So for my next meal at my work, I got rice, steak, cheese, scallions, carrots, and then sauce. And then I also got a protein smoothie for plant smoothie. I'll put all the macros up on the screen right now. No. <laughs> Look at this goofy guy. Look at him, the boy Chandler. Oh, goodbye Chandler. 
Yo, so I just dropped Chandler off as you saw, and now I'm gonna actually go pick up one of my buddies, and we're gonna try to take photos, because the lighting right now is pretty freaking cool. What going on, Terry? Yo, so we just got back to my neighborhood, but we're just gonna go in and get like a little snack. Yo, we are back home. Um, I'm about to make a little shake. If I'm being brutally honest with you, I do not know the exact amount of ounces this is or how many ounces it holds. But I did some research on one that looks similar to it. It's about 22 ounces. So I do about 22 ounces of whole milk with one and a half scoops of diamondized peanut butter isolate. Oh shit, it's gonna spill the protein. So I finished the shake right here. It's a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but get next to my head is pretty giant. The whole milk adds to the calories and it's chocolate peanut butter is definitely my favorite. And it's, I swear, just liquid calories are literally like cheating. It's, it's so easy to get ca liquid calories down. Yo, it's the next day. I forgot to film the rest of the night because I fell asleep really early. I only fell asleep because I went, I went fishing the next morning at like 5 a.m. That's also why I look like Larry the Lobster right now. You see this? I am incredibly sunburned. My legs right now, I'll show you my legs in a second, are so bad. I'm just gonna put everything that I didn't eat in the rest of the video, but I'm just gonna film it the next day, which is today. So yeah, I'll show y'all what that is. All right, here's the legs. Are y'all ready for this? Ready? That's so bad. Look, oh my god. Look at that. That is so bad. I'm like the color of the tile. Yo, what is up? Welcome back to this episode of Cooking with Larry the Freaking Lobster. Yesterday, like I said, I forgot to finish filming. I'm smacking my hands a lot. Forgot to finish filming. And I saved this meal just for tonight. Just like I was gonna have it last night, but it's oatmeal. I've had it before. I think it's great. I love eating oatmeal at night fills you up nice and warm in your belly especially once it hits like 70 degrees in Florida perfect take some cinnamon I pop it in there and that's about it Yo, so I just finished my last meal. Uh, I'm gonna put the calories up right here. I really, really want to try to help people out. And I really, I want to track my progress and help other people. If you have any questions, please let me know. I answer all my DMs on Instagram. Follow my Instagram right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.